Okay, good afternoon. Good evening. It's about 5 o'clock on um, Tuesday, August the 26th, 2024. And so I'm sitting here. I did not get to go to choir practice tonight um, because I could not go tonight. I have some stuff that I need to do in here. But I did want to be able to show this video. I did want a minute ago, but I, I wanted to say that there's a couple mistakes in it that I have to fix. But I want to show you this video that I did. And so this one, this is an avatar, um, Synthesia, which is a wonderful program that basically just takes, you type in what you wanted to say, and it's these avatars that say what you want them to say and this is wonderful this is one on this one good morning students today we're going to spend just a few minutes reviewing what miss Shannon taught you on how to write a short summary remember there are three steps to writing a short summary and here they are first state the most important information in the beginning of your summary that happened in the text which will only basically include the main setting main characters and beginning of the problem Second, state only the most important information in the middle of the text. This includes the main problem or climax and the most important action event that happened to try to solve the problem. Lastly, write one or two sentences stating the most important information in the end or how the problem was solved. Remember, sir, it's very important that you leave out small details that don't really contribute to the most important events in the text. If you can summarize all this in three to five sentences, you are an excellent student. Have a great day and I'll be sure to tell Miss E. Shannon, what a great hub you did. <laughs> Look at that. It's so cute. And then there's this other one that I have. Um, let me see if I can switch it around. Me and technology, we're not the best of friends. Good morning, so I'm students. Trying to, oops, sorry. Today we're good. I'm trying to get better about it. So let me hear. Come around real quick and see if I can um, go to the other one that I did. And this is so cute. Also for the class, like I said, you have one for your business. It's like your employee. It's like your employee or it's like your... Um, Co-worker or your, you know, your whoever you want, however you want to use it for, but it's one for the class. Here's one on the Shannon. Cute here. It'll show up. Here we go. Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Shannon is at a meeting today, but she wanted to let you know that she will be back very soon and expects you all to be on your best behavior. I have placed a PowerPoint on each of your laptop links on the topic of discussion: the blue whale. I want you to work with one partner that I will assign you to in a moment, read the PowerPoint on the blue whale together, taking turns, and then work together to write down seven interesting facts you learned about the blue whale. Be prepared to have one person from your group share those facts with the class. Don't worry, this is just an introduction, miss. Shannon wanted me to complete with you on whales. When she comes back, she will extend the lesson as she has planned. The directions are on the board if you have any questions and you can always raise your hand. Let's work together and have a great morning. Let's get started. Oh my gosh, that is so cute, I love that. And so here's Pastor Joe's book right here, Speak the Blessing. So I'm believing that I'm gonna be using this. Like I said, I have my, if you see, if you've been looking at my website, shannonconceptacrewcontutoring.com, my own business, um, well, but 35 products I've created and, created and written myself based on most of the fact that I to use. So I'm believing God that that business is gonna to continue to blossom. And I just started my own school yesterday. I just had this idea to start my own school as innovators and leaders have done in the past. They try different things and then whatever sticks, that's the one that they end up doing and sticking to. So I'm not, Unless overnight, like I have like 300 parents sign up for the school, I'm not perceiving that will happen, but I tried to see what would happen. But um, so I am hoping that I get an instructional specialist position with um, school district that I'm in local area that I'm applying to, as well as um, on or teaching position, you know, have God works out and everything like that. I'm believing, I'm expecting to believe for that any day now, I'm expecting to move forward with that process and everything as God works it out. And again, I still have my business as well, so you know, but I'm believing him to do that. But Pastor Joe said in his book, Speak the Blessing, you know, you start speaking it ahead of time. So at the beginning of the summer, when I said, that I want, I was looking for a thousand times more growth this summer. I've been seeing not a thousand necessarily, but a lot more growth this summer. So I made that video. When I made that video, I had no furniture in this apartment. Absolutely none. Absolutely no furniture in this apartment. Now look at this. This apartment is fully furnished. Which are my family. Sorry, I don't show all of them. It's fully furnished. I needed a desk in this bedroom and all that, and like a couple of dressers in this bedroom. But it's fully furnished. Look at all this stuff, my closet. I'm gonna give you anyway. My closet, I'm not gonna show my whole closet because it looks horrible, but <laughs> it's messy. I wasn't expecting to do this, but it's fully furnished. Now it's like a desk and a dresser in the bedroom, and then I'm good and all that and everything. And then also, I've just been growing in so many other areas this summer, especially my business and my book my mom sent me, as well as some friends I saw and all that and everything, and some wonderful things I did this summer, in spite of the fact that we had an amazing, uh, awesome storm that lasted for two weeks. But I'm believing by the end of the summer, Pastor Joe said, Speak the blessing in this book. 
by the end of the summer, by the end of this year, 2024, I'm believing for a thousand times more growth. That's why I spoke prophesied the power of life and death is in your tongue and you should eat the fruit thereof. So I'm believing for a thousand times more growth for me and the ones I pray for. This, by the end of this year, I'm speaking it ahead of time. Power of life and death is in your tongue, asking you shall receive. I'm believing for it because what you speak is what's going to happen to you. And I believe it. And I start, and I have seen a lot of growth. I mean, it hasn't been like a thousand necessarily, but I have seen a lot of growth this summer. So what I said, Pretty much has come true, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it hasn't been a thousand necessarily, but it has been a lot of growth this summer. So I'm thankful God for that. In spite of the fact we had a terrible storm that kind of slowed things down for two weeks, that really pushed things back more, you know, more than it could have been. But I still saw a lot of growth this summer in lots of areas. So I did a video about that before, and so. Um, Pastor also has his new book. I have to do this because this, this goes along with what's going on in my life right now. It's called Power Up. And so because I'm trying to, you know, move forward my career and all that and everything, I'm leaving God for things in that area, how it works out with my business or, you know, a combination of different things together, you know, with my business because I have like 35 products on my business, for example, you know, have returned to the school districts or whatever. But um, I... His, he has this new book, it's called Power Up, and I want to get it because it's talking about how you your life goes in the direction that you say it's going to go. If you are negative and you're saying, oh, it's never going to happen to me, or this is ridiculous, I can't believe, you know, or whatever, or you, you know, focus on how blessed you are, how grateful you are, and all that, and everything. I was listening to Crown Affirmations this morning, and um, Chris and T, who do um, these songs like, I'm grateful, and money coming to me now. Money comes to me now. <laughs> it's like you start speaking those words over your life, even before you start seeing these things happen, if that's the case with you. Like, start sowing those seeds of faith, speaking those words of your life. And Crown Affirmation talks about how you're grateful, grateful for everything that you have, grateful for your business and your family. And, you know, just start speaking in the way you want your life to go. And that's similar to Pastor Joel's book, because if you don't speak it, then it's going to go where you tell it to go. So the power of life is in our tongue, right? So you start speaking negativity, you start thinking that you don't have the favor of God surrounding you and that you're not going to have a blessed, prosperous future. And God's word is not true. It says, if you abide in me on words about you, that's what you will and shall be done unto you. Eyes have not seen, no ears have heard into the heart of man what God has planned for those that love him, and so on and so forth, so many other blessings. If you don't believe that, asking you shall receive, seeking you shall find. When you do what I say, I'll set you high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. No, no man will honor a child. I'm, I always I say, I say the child because I'm a teacher. That's a joke, whatever. No man will honor a child. We'll be the same for you all the days of your life. You know, little bad kids, not regular kids. <laughs> so silly. I will be with you. I will be, your, your way will be prosperous and you'll have good success. Meditating on my word day and night that you may deserve to do all this written and your way will be prosperous and you have good success. Just to be funny, whatever. I say that sometimes just to be joking, you know, obviously, you know. But um, so the point I'm trying to say is that your life goes in the direction that you want it to go. And it's true. Like, you have to speak it. Even before you start seeing it, that's the case, and start moving your mouth in the direction that you wanted to go, and then watch God do it. You know, so I'm believing a thousand times more by the end of the summer for me and the ones I pray for. Thousand, I'm mean, the end of the year, 2024. I'm believing a thousand times more. So I'm excited about what He's up to. Have a wonderful day.